going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Diecast review here on the channel today. Today, I have Trackhouse Racing's third car that they rolled out last year, uh, kind of the uh, project car, you could say. And uh, this is the number 91 of Kimi Raikkonen that was raced at Watkins Glen last season. Uh, unfortunately for Kimi, uh, he did not have a good day at Watkins Glen, finishing 37th with the DNF. But, uh, you know, he ran pretty close uh, mid-pack pretty much for the most uh, first part of the day. And then I believe he got into a got into a wreck coming through the, tr the uh, chicane or through the bus stop and uh, kind of ended his day there. So unfortunate for him. But, you know, the, the Project 91 was a really cool idea. And I hope that they keep it going for this year and, you know, the years to come. And, you know, maybe give these outside drivers that don't typically race NASCAR – uh, a chance to you know show what they got so uh, enough of that we'll go ahead and look at the box we got 2022 season up there in the top left Kimi Raikkonen in there on the bottom and then NASCAR Cup Series there on the right got the barcode here on this side with 164 scale Lionel Racing the official die cast of NASCAR there on that side and then Kimi Raikkonen number 91 Ricogni I don't I think that's how you say it Ricogni uh 2022 camaro zl1 limited edition like i said i do think that i'm saying that right recogni but you know don't quote me on that i've honestly never even heard of this company i don't know what they do a lot of track houses sponsors and if you pay attention they have a lot uh they have a lot of sponsors but a lot of them i really have never heard of i mean even jockey um i really don't know exactly what jockey makes them i want to say maybe underwear but <laughs> uh i don't know for sure and uh you know that's kind of the case with a lot of theirs i mean even tootsies to an extent i probably wouldn't really know what tootsies was if they hadn't talked about it over and over and over uh on the broadcast but still a great car but uh you know first thoughts about the paint scheme really just a basic blue and black car but you know they really did a good job trying to make the numbers pop with the yellow uh, neon number font and also you know this gives me kind of a classic 2000s hendrick vibe with the neon numbers so or the uh or the yellow numbers at least but uh you know the the yellow numbers with the paint scheme just make it pop and uh, i like the idea behind this so uh, we'll go ahead and start off with the front of the car we got the chevy camaro nose right there looks like we got a pretty well i thought it was a paint chip there on the uh, splitter but it went away uh must just been some decal got loose uh, we got the Chevy Camaro nose right there. We got eye lock. I think that's what that is there on the hood. We got Recogni there on the hood as well. And then Kimi Raikkonen's last name there on the front windshield with the Chevrolet logo. Uh, I like how the blue kind of circles around the top of the hood and the bottom with the black going to the middle. Looks pretty good so far. Uh, the only complaint with the chassis of this car, I've noticed that the front is kind of like bent up a little bit, but... Uh, it's barely noticeable. You can kind of see a big gap in the wheel well, just a little bit, maybe like a millimeter, but uh, it's not too terribly noticeable. On to the left side of the car, we have the NASCAR Cup Series logo right there. We got the 91 right there with the track house slash through it. I'm going to start calling it that. And then, you know, it ain't just a simple blue and black paint scheme. We have some lines going through the back of it that give it some texture and stuff to it and uh, add a little bit of depth to the scheme in general. I do see something going on here, though, with the wrap. Uh, it looks like it kind of got folded over a little bit. Uh, you know, if you're just picking this car up and looking at it, that's not noticeable one bit. When you zoom in with the camera, you can really tell right there. But, you know, to the naked eye, that is not noticeable one bit. So I'm not going to count that against them. Got some sponsors there on the B post. Got uh, Kimi Raikkonen's signature up there on the name rail. Uh, we got Project 91 there on the C post which again is a, a thing that Trackhouse has been doing to try and uh, get these uh, maybe F1 or IndyCar drivers into the car. On the quarter panel, we got iLock again. I think that's what that is. iLog, I don't, I, I can't really tell. iLock, I think that's how you say it. Again, if I didn't get these sponsors wrong, forgive me, I'm sorry. I, I don't know exactly what they are, but um, I'm trying to pronounce them the best I can. We got race service there on the quarter panel and then 273 as well. I, I don't know what that is, but uh, it's there. On the back of the car, we have Recogni. We have a track house logo on the left and then uh, got the rookie stripes here on the back for Kimi Raikkonen. We've not had many rookie cars this year, uh, or I guess I should say 2022. We had Harrison Burton and uh, maybe 
Todd Gilliland, I think they had rookie stripes. But other than that, you know, they've been few and far in between. And uh, it's nice to see those on the back of these cars. On the deck lid, we got Recogni and Kimi Raikkonen on the back windshield. You know, speaking of rookie stripes, I'm curious to see if they will make a Josh Berry number nine Napa car because, you know, they make a you know practically any car Chase Elliott drives, and it would be cool. I mean, I hate that Chase got hurt. Don't get me wrong, but it would be cool to get a you know different you know driver in the nine diecast. You know, they did the same thing with Bowman back when he took over for the '88 for Junior. So I would assume that we'll see a number nine Josh Berry 164 at some point, maybe 124 only, but I'd say it'll get enough made for a 164. So be on the lookout for that. I don't know why the rookie shops made me think of that, but uh, you know, you, you never really know where these videos are going to go. But um, on the right side of the car, we got race service again, uh, iLock and Project 91. No really complaints with this car at all. Uh, other than this, uh, that's about it. You know, Lionel can get away with these black schemes way, way more than they can those white schemes. Those white paint schemes, they have a hard time hiding their issues, and you can really tell you know their imperfections and the specs and the wrapping issues and stuff so most of their darker colored die casts they typically do a good job with so uh but that's really going to do it for me let me know what you think about this Iceman number 91 kimmy rockin and recogni 164 scale reach up there and hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more thank you all for watching y'all have a great day and i'll see you all in the next one